Hey you guys, welcome back to Angela's Aging Essentials. I have another skincare video for you guys, including a sunscreen. Now I realize that my videos sometimes drag on and on and on. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about the actual skincare products that I use because I realize nobody has time to watch a 20 to 30 minute long video. So I don't want to just drag on and I really want these videos to be focused on these sunscreens that are holy grail favorite sunscreens for me. But I also want to show you what skincare I put with it because it's really important to know if it's going to peel or ball up. So that is the purpose of this video. Welcome to Angela's Aging Essentials. My name is Angela. If you enjoy this video, I hope that you consider subscribing, giving it a big thumbs up hitting that bell, all the things. And I also want to say happy Memorial weekend to everybody. If you serve in the military or you had somebody serve in the military that lost their life, thanking you for the service. My dad is a veteran and without them, I would not be able to be sitting here doing this or pretty much doing anything that I do. I'm so, so grateful for everybody that has served in the military. So thank you and let's jump into this video. I've already cleansed my face. I've already used my Derma E glycolic toner that I use. Now I'm going to go in with the Sukayaka Suhada Urea Moisture Lotion. Again, talked about this many times. Now, when this, this is a very liquid product, it's almost like water. So I have found that when I spray it out of this, it does come out like a water gun and will shoot you directly in the eyeball. A little bit different from other essences. So what I'm going to do is just spray that in my hand. And then I'm going to go in and just rub this all over. While my skin is still damp, I'm really quickly going to go in with the Dermatology Needleless Serum. This is such a phenomenal product, you guys. It is, it is a little bit expensive. Dermatology almost always has some really good sales. They actually have a really great sale going on now for Memorial Day. So I will link directly to the Dermatology website and I will also put the coupons down in the description box. These will not be affiliate link coupons for this specific product, but I recommend that you try this. This is like a one and done product. It's packed full of ceramides, all different kinds of peptides. And you guys know I am a peptide and a ceramide lover. It is just such a beautiful, beautiful product. It is formulated with what they call Seraprep, Seraprep technology, which is a patent product with dermatology. So, be sure and go to this website and read all about this because like I said, I don't want to ramble. You guys know I get super giddy and excited about skincare, so I can talk about it forever. I'm trying to avoid doing that. So make sure to click on that link and go read about this product. So many people love this product. I am just almost out. I'm about right here and I actually do have a backup of this. I take about just a half of a dropper and I pretty much apply this the same way that I do my essences and my toners. Now this product does have a little bit more of a slip to it. It's not slimy. If any of you guys have used the viral snail mucin, it's very similar to that if the snail mucin was watered down a bit. Um, you know, just has a really nice slip and it's already just absorbed into my skin. So a phenomenal product. Really, really love this. I'm not going to use an eye cream this morning, but I am going to go in with my Holy Grail, my liquid gold. I will add a video for you guys, a card. This is such a phenomenal product. I'm going to go in with just one pump and I'm going to show you guys why. So I'm going to put this on. Such a lovely, lovely moisturizer. I have spoke about this so many times. And now what I'm gonna do is go in with just a, I mean, just a tiny little dollop about the size of a pea. And this is what I'm gonna use for my eye cream today. 
You know, I've told you guys, if you don't want to spend the money on an eye cream, then just take the moisturizer that you're using. And this is what I mean when I say just give the eyes that really delicate, crepey skin around the eyes just a little bit more attention. It's going to make a huge, huge difference. And one more time, I'm going to go in with my Stuka Yaka Suhada Urea Moisture Lotion. Do about three pumps in my hand, rub my hands together, and just kind of press this into my skin and let all of those products that I have just put on really just kind of melt together, blend together really nicely. I will allow this to dry for just a couple of minutes and then we will go in with our sunscreens for the day and I'm really excited to talk about these sunscreens. I want to give you guys a little tip while I'm just kind of letting this kind of melt into my skin. If you ever use any type of skincare and you've layered on your skincare and you get to the very last product and you're noticing that it is peeling and balling up, you can take any toner that you have, even the Aveen spring water, the thermal spring water, even tap water. I recommend a bottled water. If you will just, you know, put it in your hands and press it into your skin and then kind of rub it around, it will really, really cut down on the peeliness. It's like the toner, the essence, the viscosity of that thin like water just kind of really does help everything to just absorb. It just blends it all together really, really well. So just a tip, if you catch any of your products peeling, try that and uh, let me know what you think about it. I figured this out the other day when I had some products peeling. I just was so annoyed I didn't have time to redo it. And I just sprayed my face really quickly with the Secret Key Essence, rubbed it in, and the peeling was gone just like that. So we actually have two star sunscreens that we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna put one on the left, one on the right, and the reason why I'm using these together is because they're supposedly dupes for one another. So we're going to see. I have not used these ever like this. I use one or the other, but I just was looking at the ingredient deck and realized that these are super, super similar. Really quickly, let me just look on this ingredient deck and see. Okay, yeah, they're super, super similar. So we're gonna be talking about the Dermatology this is the Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF of 46, and we're going to see if this is a dupe for the Elta MD UV Clear Tinted. This is an SPF of 46 as well, so both of these have that same SPF. Now, the Dermatology is a zinc oxide of 12%. The Elta MD is a zinc oxide of 9%, so... 3% difference there, and then they both have octanoxate. Both of them have 7.5% of the octanoxate. So, um, these are both tinted. These both give you UVA and UVB protection. Now, I will say that this one does say on here that it is calming and protects acne-prone skin. It has a high-purity niacinamide, a transparent zinc oxide. This one um, also contains niacinamide. Both are pretty high up on the ingredient deck. So, the other, I mean, as far as the ingredients on these, they are just super, super similar. The, um, Elta MD does have lactic acid where the dermatology does not, but just kind of skimming over the rest of the ingredient decks, super, super similar. So, let's see how these compare on the skin. The Dermatology Universal we will put on, this is going to be my right, probably your left. I'm going to take three pumps of this. It's tinted. You know, you can see it is a lotion type viscosity, but it's not, um, you know, it's not just a super, super thick. So, what I like to do to be sure that I'm getting the adequate amount is I still have a good size amount here. So I will just go in first of all with this first layer. You guys hear my squeaky chair. I'm gonna obviously have to get a new chair because it's driving me bananas. So 
such a beautiful sunscreen, you guys. I fell in love with this about two years ago. And, I mean, I just can't say it enough. I am a lover of a tinted sunscreen. Especially because I have a lot of melasma and hyperpigmentation. And it really just does a beautiful job at helping to dial that down. So, we went in with that first layer. We've got it rubbed in. And we will go in with the rest of this. Same way as we just applied that first layer. I will jump off camera really quick so you guys don't, it's not repetitive, but I will just rub this in. Once it's absorbed, I will pop back and we will put the Elta MD on the other side. All right, so we got that second layer rubbed in. It's dried down a little bit. It does not give a dewy or glowy finish. It is still, um, you know, not completely absorbed into my skin, but once it dries down, you guys, it is just so, so beautiful. As far as you know, the initial feel, the skincare that I put under this, I'm not getting any, any peeling. This is kind of like what I do to see if I'm going to get peeling. If I'm going to peel, it's going to be here and typically right here on my temple. So, so far, so good. So, you still see my melasma peeking through, but you can see over here how you know, it's a lot darker. So that's why I just love a tinted sunscreen because it really does just a beautiful job at really lightly helping to dial down that melasma. And now on this side of my face, we are going to use the Elta MD Tinted. And I forgot to mention, both of these are 1.7 ounces. Big difference in the size of the packaging, but they are both 1.7 ounces. So... They both have that pump style, and we're going to use the same amount for this one. Super, super similar as far as the viscosity of this. So, we'll just go in and do the same thing as we did on the other side. Now, I will tell you guys... The Elta MD is more expensive. I believe it runs anywhere between like $35 and $45, depending on where you get it. And then the Dermatology product is um, between $25 and $30. Okay, so we got that first layer rubbed in pretty good. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to get this rubbed in. Once it dries down, I'll pop, pop back on and see if we can tell a difference. Okay, so we have allowed that l 2 MTD to dry down like we did the dermatology. And I will tell you guys, right out of the gate, I have peeling. If you can see this right here, and when I rub, you just see how it just... Um, On the dermatology side, I have no peeling. All of that peeling. So, that is it just super, super, super annoying. Um... So, I am never, ever, ever going to not do my skincare in the mornings. So, because of that, the Elta MD, I will try with my antioxidant. I will try this with my EUK, and I will try this with my vitamin C, and we will see what happens. It may just be, um, you know, something in that needleless serum that's not pairing well with this, but... 10 times out of 10, I am always, always going to choose a product that is not going to cause this because it's just annoying. And you also, you know, can try the toner and see how that works, if it helps with the peeling. But if you're just annoyed by the whole thing, then you just have to remove it all and you have just washed your very, you know, great sun care sun care your great skincare down the sink so it's just if it can be avoided i'm going to avoid it so comparing these two i would say 
I will try this again to be fair, but you know, as far as this episode for my skincare, dermatology is blowing it out of the park. I mean, it's just no peeling. To be fair, I will show you guys, there's just, you know, nothing. There's no peeling. Um, and on this side, it still is just, I mean, let me, it's just still, I mean, it's just a disaster. So, I do these videos to help you guys. I have been such a fan of dermatology for so, so long. I will tell you guys, last summer I tried this same, this is a new one. Um, you know, I always check the expiration dates on my sunscreens to make sure they're not expired. So, I just bought this one a couple of weeks ago. The first one of these I bought last summer when I put it on my skin, it kind of got stringy. It's just the best way I know how to explain it. I just had these stringy tinted strings of goop all over my face. And I thought, okay, so many people love this. What is happening? What is going wrong? Every time I used it, it continued to happen. I thought, okay, maybe I got a faulty one, which was why I repurchased it. But this is expensive. I mean, you know, this is around 40 bucks and this is going to happen, then I'm just going to skip it. So, if you guys are looking to purchase a super amazing sunscreen that is just top-notch, in my opinion, this is going to be on sale for the Memorial Day weekend. I will link it down in the description. If you use Elta MD and it does not give you this pill and mess, let me know what your skincare prep is. So, maybe I can look into using that type of skincare and seeing, you know, if it works on my skin the way it works on yours. But as far as today, this just did not pair with the skincare that I used. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to make it short and sweet, but you guys know I like to ramble. So I'm going to wrap it up by saying, please remember to do something nice for yourself. Nobody is gonna take as good a care of you as you do. Take the time to pamper yourself. I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend and we will see you in the next video.